Hi guys, so just a quick haul video today. We've been going around charity shops for the last two or three days uh, just to sort of get an idea of what we can find because uh, we had the time off. So this is everything that we've had. There's a couple of things here that weren't picked up at charity shops, but we'll go through those as we get to them. So the first thing starting left to right is this You To Me Bear, which we picked up for about a pound. And that's got around about um, £10, £20 worth of resale in it. The big ones really do hold their value, so it's definitely worth keeping an eye out for them. Uh, picked up this little Eeyore set, which was um, about a pound each for both the mug and the Eeyore. They were in two different charity shops, but we thought if we bundled them together, it would look really nice. The mug definitely needs a clean currently, though, as it's grimy as hell. But we'll have that cleaned up, and we'll get some nice pictures of that, and that will then hopefully bump the value up picked up this Mickey Mouse tie which is not my style <laughs> but still nice nonetheless I imagine somebody will get uh, some sort of enjoyment out of that not really sure on the resale value I think it was about a pound that we picked it up for so once that's listed and if it does sell I'll do an update video on how much it's actually worth so everyone can have an idea well we spotted these in the charity shop then uh, which is a set of Hercules cups or tumblers from 1998-99 they were in one charity shop I think it cost us about a pound for the three of them and the three of them is a complete set there was only three of these in this style made they're really really nice little cups and they're in really good condition the paintwork hasn't scratched off or anything so really nice to see and they resell for about 15 quid they're currently listed now Laurie's been picking up Jacqueline Wilson books for the best part of the last two weeks. She started initially with this um, box uh, of six or seven, and that was about four pound. Then she's just been adding to it to build a big Jacqueline Wilson collection to sort of then sell on. Um, so that's not quite done yet, but we're still in the process of. Picked up these Barbie books. There's a set of 16 there, and the completed set is about 25, and they're by a publishing house called Grillia Books. These are from 98, 99, and we picked them up for three quid. They resell for a completed set around about 28 pound. So we've got the 16 listed for 20 on best offer, and we'll see what comes of that. Uh, at the back here, we picked up a Playmobil City Life, and that was three pound in a charity shop. I put it together expecting there to be loads of parts missing and what have you, and it actually turned out that most stuff was there. The only thing missing was one of the drumsticks from the drummer, the tom-tom, and the lights were missing one or two here and there. Other than that, there was actually a few extra bits in there that wasn't on the box that did still match the set. So when I put it all together, took the pictures and what have you, managed to list it for 25 and it actually went within the hour it was listed, which was really cool to see. Down here we have a Lurpak butter with the lure pack man resting on the top there we've seen loads of resellers talk about this so we've kept our eye out for them and found one in the same charity shop we found a few other bits it was two pound and they resell quite well on their own but we're going to try and hold out and keep an eye out for the toaster rack that goes with it so we'll keep you updated on that one uh, i was in a shop then a charity shop that offered uh three for two on dvds and what have you so I decided there was a complete set of Lord of the Rings there. Uh, so it was three for two, so I picked them up, hoping there'd be some resale value in them. There's not much, I'm not going to lie. Uh, these are up for 4 50 or £5, I think it is currently, for the three. They're all in good condition, though, and it only cost me two quid, so not a major loss. Shame Charity Shop had these three in them. Uh, so it was Sing Star 90s Anthems and... Tom Clancy was just a bonus because it was three for two and it made more sense to buy that with it. So pick those up. The Sing Star sell for about three pounds on their own each and Tom Clancy's goes for around about four quid. But I'm going to keep hold of that and add it to a bundle of PlayStation 3 games I've been picking up. And hopefully at some point I'll get a console for it and then I can sell it on altogether. StarCraft 2... I think it's Wings of Liberty, it's an expansion, yeah, and that sells for about six, seven quid, picked that up for a pound, and the same with Age of Empires, that's in really good condition with all its manuals and discs, picked it up for a pound, sells for about seven, eight quid. 
Last thing in the media section then is a couple of Tony Hawk's Pro Skateboarding or just Tony Hawk's Skateboarding at this point because it wasn't called that. Uh, not the black label unfortunately, it's the old Platinum Edition and the box is a bit battered, it's missing the PlayStation sticker and what have you. <sighs> unfortunately really, it was a pound, um, it's up for about 4 99 I think so we'll see how that goes. So at the back here, as you may have seen, we've got an Amstrad GX4000. Now this wasn't picked up in a charity shop. This was gifted to us by Laurie's grandparents, who after a long day of charity shopping yesterday, we popped round to see, and we were talking to them about what we were selling and what have you, and they asked, why don't we go up to the attic and have a look at something we could use. Laurie spotted this out of the corner of her eyes, and uh, her granddad just said to her, you know, take it, that's absolutely fine. It's just clotting up my, uh, my space up here. So we took that off him. Uh, it's got a copy of Burning Rubber in there, which came with it, and it's all in great working condition. It looks completely like never been used. And that's worth £70, so that is a really nice find. And it was just nice to see, because I've never actually seen one in my life. And I've played on it now and experienced it, and it was fun. <laughs> so that was cool. Another Me To You bear at the back here, smaller one with a special friend written on it. Unfortunately, the tag's written on it, which was a shame. But again, it was only a pound and they resell for about eight to nine pounds on eBay, so that's quite nice. Down here then we had this set of Tetley stuff where we picked up the lure pack thing from. Uh, Tetley teapot and mug which goes with it, and the two mugs at the back total cost us four pound, and the mug is now up for 15, and the two mugs at the back are now up for 10. The mugs at the back used to have uh, like a little thing at the bottom that when you would pick it up would sort of play music and you can see because it's got this sort of gross gluey stuff on the bottom so obviously we had to list those as no longer working because I think they're from somewhere in the 90s and I very much doubt they would even be working even if they've been kept in immaculate condition but yeah it was a nice little find nonetheless uh, this battered ink cartridge box was just on a shelf on a charity shop for a pound. I picked it up because there's always money in ink and that only sells for 11. Finally came across one of these little soup bowls and we need to collect the set. We see loads of YouTubers talking about this so we're always keeping our eye out for this. And that was I think 50p so that was a nice little find. At the back I'm not 100% sure on this again this was a gift from Laurie's grandparents. It's one of those little music players from the 90s I had one of these when I was a kid actually. And it sort of plays little jingles on CDs, and they're not really CDs. So it's basically just a little jingle box. Uh, in previous ones are sold in worse condition for about 35 quid, so it's up for 25 currently. Just because I don't know what it's worth really, and I can't get a clear picture of it. So it's up for 25, we'll see how it does. Picked up these Kellogg's uh, football bowls as well. Uh, they were up for two, £2, I think it was, we picked those up for. And there's a set of three and they're all in really good condition and they resell for about 15. And Laurie found this friend's mug in one of the charity shops for 50p. We haven't quite decided if she wants to sell that yet though because she's a big fan of friends. So if she does I'll let you know. And the last thing then was this carpet golf game from the 70s which Laurie's granddad gifted to us again. A uh, really weird little game, basically the little men sort of hit the balls round with springs in their back that you fire with. So we picked that up for um, off her granddad and that resource for about 20 quid, so that was a nice little find. So yeah, that's everything guys. I hope that's been insightful. I hope you've had a good couple of days in charity shops yourselves or whatever you've been doing and uh, take care of yourselves. Oh hi Toby, you want to be in it before it's finished, do you? What you doing? And that's my cat who's decided to rummage through everything before it gets sold. Take care, guys.